clearly in this question what they don't want us to do is expand out all of these brackets and then uh, add them all up to find the coefficient of x to 25. There is obviously an easy way and the easier way is to use the uh, expression x to the n minus a to the n over x minus a equals x to the n minus 1 add x to the n minus 2 a add da, 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 add x a to the n minus 2 add a to the n minus 1. This expression is well worth remembering. It basically is just a geometric series where that is the first term and the common ratio is a over x. And if you plonk those into the known geometric series formula, you get that. But what we can do with our expression at the top here, if we imagine that this here is our x to the n minus 1, and we imagine that this here is our a, then we can simplify the entire expression here as being 3 plus x to the power of 101 minus 2 minus x to the power of 101 over 3 plus x minus 2 minus x. So it's the same thing. And just simplifying that, we get 3 plus x to the 101 minus 2 minus x to the 101 over 2x. So what we need to do now is we need to find the coefficient of x to the 25 in this, which is much simpler. So what we're going to use is we are going to use the, um, the formula coefficient of x to the r in an expansion of p plus x to the n is c n r p to the n minus r x to the r. And we're, going to, and we're going to apply that to both 3 plus x to the 101 and 2 minus x to the 101. But remember, we are asked to find the coefficient of x to the 25. And given that we have to divide this by x, we actually need to find the coefficient of x to the 26. So basically, our coefficient uh, of uh, x to the 26 is going to be... Um, so it's going to be using this formula here. It's going to be 101c26 times 3 to the 75 x to the 26 minus, that's, you, that's this one, and then minus here, c10126 2 to the 75 times minus x, because there's a minus here, minus x to the 26. Okay, and just simplifying that, we get 101c26 3 to the 75 minus, now this minus here, because it's to the power of 26, we can ignore it, minus 2 to the 75, x to the 26. But remember, we have to now divide by 2x, and that will give us the coefficient of x to the 25. So the coefficient of x to the 25 is 101c26, 3 to the 75 minus 2 to the 75, all over 2. And that is the answer to that one. Now, in actual fact, uh, there is a very similar question to this on, a, uh, on an actual JEE exam. So let's just have a quick look at that one. Uh, here it is. So it was uh, from the JEE main June 2025, 2022, shift 2. This time they're looking for the coefficient of, uh, of x to the 101. So I'll just give you a second to pause the video if you so desire. OK, so this one we're going to use exactly the same uh, method as we used uh, before. Um, and so we can basically simplify all of this expression here as being um, 5 plus x to the 101 minus x to the 101. Uh, sorry, 5 to the 501, my apologies, minus x to the 501, because here this is our x to the n minus 1 term, and here we've got x and then x squared, blah, 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 up to x over 5 plus x minus x, which is your x term minus whatever. And that gives us 5 plus x to the 501 minus x to the 501 over 5. And so therefore, we need to find the coefficient of x to the 101. So again, we're going to use exactly the same formula. Um, so that would be uh, n 501 c 101 um, 5 to the power of 400 
times x to the power of 101 all over 5. And so therefore the coefficient of x to the 101 is 501c101 5 to the power of 399 because obviously 5 to the 400 divided by 5 is 5 to the 399 and that is the answer to this question. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. We're going to put up more of these JEE um, uh, questions so anybody who so desires please subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.